Hello. All right, so I guess you guys started getting quiet, so that means that I'm supposed to start with this at some point. Um, hopefully everybody grabbed some pizza, you ate, you're, you're fed, you got some drinks, and then uh, everybody's going to be happy. Don't fall asleep. Um, so uh, my name is Raji Barham. I'm uh, the organizer of the Geo Meetup, and I uh, want to thank you all for being here on our very first one. It's a great turnout. I'm excited. Um, and, oh, you know, first things first, I guess, we should thank our uh, sponsors. Uh, you know, I want to thank uh, CBS Interactive for uh, providing the spot. It was, like, really hard to find a spot. Being in the <laughs> thank you. Thank you, guys. You, you rock. Um, Simple Geo, too, uh, for... Uh, basically providing all the pizzas, so you fed because of that. Um, you guys wanna introduce yourself and just uh, talk a little bit about what you do? Just your, you know, elevator pitch or whatever. So. Uh, yeah. uh, thanks for coming out. Uh, Simple Geo is just, um, we're just starting out. Um, started out as an iPhone gaming company and uh, then realized that you know, this geo landscape, we need to build a geo infrastructure, so we kind of pivoted the company. Um, and right now we have a spatial database for geo data, as well as a marketplace for geo data. Um, business listings, weather, news. Um, and then we're also building this idea called uh, Pushpin, where you give us a latitude longitude of the user and we return um, neighborhood, city, state, and then eventually tons of context around that point. So that's kind of where we're at now. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, just email Andrew at Simple Geo or find me and we can chat. Thanks. Thank you, guys. Uh, and uh, Xcube Labs. Is anybody from Xcube Labs here? Oh. Yeah. Well, they paid for uh, our yearly meetup fee and the beer and the drinks. So. Uh, Maybe I should just send a right. recording. Thank you, guys. Um, so let's. Why are we here? Let's start with that. Um, it's it's a great question. <laughs> Actually, uh, it turns out that there's a whole bunch of meetup groups out there. I don't know if, if you know about Bama or WebMap Social. There's a lot of meetup groups about and, and conferences about Geo in general. So why is it that you know, we need a, a new one. Well, it turns out they attend a lot of those, and it happens that the, the content that they have tends not to be geared towards developers. And the problem with that is that, you know, sometimes certain questions don't get asked, and, you know, if you want to know, for example, how they're implementing their indexing, or, uh, you know, how is it that they're implementing any of the how questions, right? How, how do you query your data? Usually those questions tend to put on the side in order not to alienate the rest of the people that are attending those things. And, you know, that, that's okay. Um, I just wanted to set up a forum where we can mainly concentrate on the how, how is it that we implement these things, uh, more than, you know, business models or how do they monetize things. Uh, and this is what this is supposed to be. Um, so, you know, a little bit of history. There's a few of us here that are in the room. Uh, and until last year, we used to meet every, uh, you know, every three months or so. And, you know, had, it was about 20 of us. We had a little presentation. Uh, we talk about open source GIS only, and it was basically only open source GIS. Then we would go to a bar, have a few drinks, and that's when we started talking for real. And, you know, the, you actually, we learned a lot from each other. And it was, it was a good environment. And, you know, things happen. We stopped doing them. Uh, you know, people have kids or they get absorbed by a big corporation. And, uh, you know, then they, this usually that's what makes open source projects, you know, disappear or whatever. Um, but, uh, you know, things change. So I, about a month ago, we were talking about it. And we said, hey, you know, why, why can't we just try to resuscitate that? Why can't we just, you know, start having those meetups again? So I said, okay, fine, I'll do it. You know, put a meetup thing on the website, and, you know, I, I was I was gonna do it on my apartment, 
right? I can't fix you guys on my apartment. <laughs> it's like, and th then the problem became, oh, too much space. What about the food? I was going to chip in on the food. I'm not going to chip in for all you guys' food. <laughs> so it's like somebody else, we got to find a sponsor for that. Same thing with the drinks. And it, it just became, you know, interesting. So, uh, you know, here we are. So we, I guess we overcame those problems. Um, so um, normally, I would have probably asked, you know, if it was 20 of us or 10 of us, I would have asked each one of us to introduce ourselves and say, you know, what do you do? Like, what's your experience with Geo and all these things? And, you know, I can't do that with such a big group like this. And it's kind of sad. Because if you actually perused through the list of people that, that joined the meetup in the RSVP, yes, there's like a lot of brain power in here. And that's what makes it really exciting. And, um, you know, if you haven't spoken to the person next to you, you probably should. Because there's uh, really interesting things that are happening. Um, like, how many of you, just so, to give you an idea, how many of you are actually working for one of the big search engine companies? Uh, we have a few hands. How many of you are working for one of the big social media sort of uh, companies? Yeah, uh, we got a few. See, you guys don't fill out your profiles, right? How many of you are like working with uh, databases and are actually experts in the area of databases? Ah. Uh, how many of you are like shooting stuff to the sky and actually taking pictures of it? See, there's a few hands right there. You know. um, there's actually, you know, how many of you are working with traditional GIS systems like ES or High stuff? Yeah. We got some hands. Uh, how many of you do mobile applications? Right. How many of you are just here to learn what the hell, like something new about you? Yeah, and, it, and that's, that's totally valid. Right? Um, so you saw the hands. If you're interested into any of those topics, talk to those people. You can get really interesting. Um, I'm just going to start with this, so not to lose time. Um, so you saw my slide there. Um, turns out that I started working on these slides during the weekend. And I started looking at the people that RSVP'd, right? And I saw the diversity. And it was really hard to figure it out exactly what the hell I was going to talk about because of, you know, all the various different, um, you know, levels of knowledge in different areas. So, you know, I ended up doing a whole bunch of slides trying to make everybody happy. And I ended up with about 100 slides. Right? I'm not even kidding, like it was a hundred slides. And you know, then I thought, oh, you know what? I should totally rename the, the presentation. It should be uh, like schizophrenic overview of geospatial technologies because it was really like all over the place. Um, so I showed the slide to some people and what ended up being was like, you know, everybody told me it was crazy. I should just cut it off, cut it off, cut it off. So I went and I cut off all my slides and I tried to divide it in just like three smaller sections. Um, and basically uh, the three sections that we decided as a group to, uh, to cut um, ended up being these, right? Um, so in order to be able to have a common ground, uh, there's some basics that we need to discuss. And I'm gonna try to go as fast as I can and for those of you guys that already know this stuff, I'm sorry, this is the only time I'm going to do this. Um, but I think it's important sort of that we give a total synopsis of what do we mean by geo and like you know, certain concepts that we're going to come over over and over. And uh, that's why we have the first section. Second section is actually, I don't know if you noticed, but I, in the meetup RSVP, I asked people to answer a question, like what would you like to see? and only seven people answered, even though all you RSVP yes. So, uh, you know, uh, turns out that two of those people, two or three of those people actually had this question, so they won. That's, they're gonna get their question answered. Um, that's number two. And uh, being a developer, I actually love, you, you know, sometimes people show you slides and they talk about this, they talk about that. It gets really boring, actually. Um, I think one of the best ways to show things is to just you know, demo them. And uh, I have a list of certain demos, uh, but I'm gonna have a little twist in my at the end and you'll see once we get there. Um, and oh, before I actually, there's gonna be two presentations tonight, I probably should have said that at the beginning. 
Uh, one of them is this one. The second one is gonna be done by Josh, who stepped up to the plate here. Uh, works at Google, he's gonna show us some of the newer stuff that uh, they're doing over there. I think they do some mapping stuff. Um, anyways, uh, so here we go. Um, so I, I want you to quickly raise your hand if uh, this number means anything to you. <laughs> right? So immediately you can tell people have just raised their hands, have been doing web development for a while, right? Um, so it turns out that in Geo, we have sort of like the same type of stuff. Right? Does this number mean anything to you? Like, see? One, two. Well, it turns out that uh, if you've been working with GeoData for a while, um, you, you know what the hell this is. Um, and you know, you may or may not like it. Uh, that's a question. So let's just get the basics out of the way, right? Um, I think uh, these are what I thought were the basic geo concepts that we should all know about. One, two. Okay. The, the basic geo concepts that we should probably just all know. Um, and uh, so the idea is basically uh, that any object that is out there that you're representing uh, can have two things. Any object in real life can have two things. So it has a set of standard attributes and a set of spatial attributes. Um, the standard attributes are things like if you're representing, uh, I don't know, a, a building or a, yeah, a car or whatever else you're representing, you know, they, they have attributes like age and length and color, and those things are represented with particular types, right? Types that we all know in our programming language, types that we know in our databases. Um, and they can also have a spatial attribute. And that spatial attribute is basically a geometry. A geometry of a particular type. So like if you're talking about a location, this object is at a particular location, you're talking about a point geometry. Or if you're talking about uh, some street, then you're saying, you know, maybe a line geometry. Uh, if you're talking about, wow, this thing sucks. Uh, uh, no, actually, I didn't say that. Um, if you're talking about a... Uh, you know, a, a building footprint, right? It may be a polygon. Um, so, you know, there's these things, like if you're working with Geo, there's these things that usually start coming up over and over and over. And there's just some, you know, standard types, points, multi-points, lines, multi-lines, polygons, multi-polygons, so holes, whatever. Um, there's this, there's an example at the bottom of like, you know, what they may be, you know, polygon and building, uh, I don't know, multi-point, uh, some address. I don't know why it says address, but you would, uh, yeah, whatever. Um, whatever. So, geometries, right? Uh, there's a consortium, like an actual body of standards that defines what these types are. And, you know, they, the, the OGC, it's the Open uh, Geospatial Consortium, and they define a whole bunch of standards for uh, geotypes. And, standards of web services and whatnot. So there's that. Then the other concept is, since we're dealing with geometries, I, we can go back to our like, you know, fifth grade, sixth grade math, or whenever you did algebra, right? And you know, there's this concept that if you're defining some sort of geometry, there's a, a coordinate system that you're defining somewhere, right? Um, and there's different kinds of coordinate systems. I, I had like six slides based on this thing, and I said, ah just throw it all away. Maybe we could have an entire presentation on just spatial references, but it's not gonna be fun for anybody. Um, so just know that it's there. You need to- The coordinate system drinking game. Yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. And by the way, if um, at any point you have questions, just raise your hand and ask them. I'm totally okay with that. Um, I think one thing that I'm going to try is if you ask a question, I'm not going to answer it. It's somebody else in the audience has to answer it because I saw enough expertise around here that you know you guys should be able to answer it yourself. So, um, so if you're wondering about the 4326, it's an SRID, it's a particular ID assigned to uh, a spatial reference that is well known, used in a whole bunch of places, uh, and it's uh, signed by the, you know the European Petroleum Survey Group. Um,